Hello YouTube. It is Halo Rama again with another toy review. This is my second toy review in a while. And today, voila, as you can read by the title right there, it says Godzilla Toy Godzilla Fuck it. Wow. Hello YouTube, it's Halo Rama. And today, I'm going to be reviewing, as you can see in the title right there, see that title, right there, I'm pointing at it, 12 inch Godzilla toy review. And, by God, he is 12 inches. He is a big sucker right here. Um, before I get on to the figure himself, let's get on to a little side note that I have... A lot of Godzilla figurines, but mm, all of them are from Bandai Creations, so they're all the United States releases, but uh, they're all open for review. Uh, if you're regarding the Jurassic Park dinosaurs in the background, I pretty much reviewed all of these already, so you can go ahead and check my channel right there, a uh, little Halo Rama icon, and you'll probably find the reviews, and if you don't find the reviews, then you uh, request them and I'll let you, and I'll get the review on it. But I had the 2004 Godzilla Final Wars by Bandit Creations. Godzilla 1963, I think. If I'm wrong, don't rip my head off. From Bandit Creations. But his nose has got chewed off by my dogs. My dogs like to hate me. But it's just a minor little nitpick like that. Uh, the original Bandit Creations, Godzilla 1954. The 12-inch Bandit uh, Creations. 12-inch. Uh, how do you say that? Bandai Creation Gigan and the uh, six inch Bandai Creations Gigan. Um, when I was little, I drew on it, so there's a little bit of Sharpie on it. And I did a review on him. He's familiar, right? If you've been watching my videos, it's the Bandai Creations, beautifully done, by the way. Uh, 1954 Godzilla, the better version. I did a review on him, so don't request him. If you want to see his review, check my channel. It's already there. Waiting for you in the band I creation is Gigan. Anyway, back onto the figure. Uh, for scaling, I'm gonna get this guy, put him right here. So, obviously, this Godzilla dwarfs that Godzilla. So, yeah, 12 inches is big for a Godzilla figurine. And getting him as a kid, which is when I got him when I was a kid. Only 15 years old, so he was that when I was a child. Well, when I was a younger child. Uh, he was easily my favorite. One, he's big. Two, he's Godzilla, which means he needs to be big. Three, he's from Final Wars, which is one of my favorite Godzilla movies. Four, he is so movie accurate, it's mind-blowing. Uh, his, everything from his beautifully done spines, from his beautifully painted and sculpted body. So let's get into that, shall we? First, the detail. Beautifully done detail on his chest, all the way down to his legs, which is what you'd expect from such a large figure. But still, even for his size, he is done amazingly. The paint... Kind of fades into the black right there, but really, who cares? If you're a young kid, you don't pay attention to that. You pay attention to the oh my god, it's Godzilla! Oh, he's so big. Um, another little nitpick: his eyes look a little derpy from the front, not very symmetrical. But who cares? I mean, they're designed to be cool looking from the sides. And that they do definitely deliver in. I mean, look at this shot. He just looks so mad and pissed off and ferocious. His teeth are individually painted and they look amazing. With this video quality, sorry if I'm kind of shaking the camera. Uh, with this video quality, he looks like his teeth are individually sculpted, which they kind of are. It's one row of plastic, but they cut little slots into it. And then they painted the teeth on it. So it's at the base right here. It's run or plastic, but but down here they're kind of individually done. Uh his eye on camera 
because the light appears to have white right here, but it's not. It's just the uh, black, mm, black plastic. Yuck. See, it's just black plastic, but uh, it is a uh, orange color with a little black pupil, which I believe is movie accurate. I don't know I haven't seen the movie in a while. It's like that on both sides. His spines are amazing. They're uh, the the white, which you'd expect, but faded to the black. And he has like this weird texture on the black part of his spines. But right here, they just look amazing. You know, paint scuffs. I played with this a lot as a kid. So that's my, my. All the way down to the tail. Now, you see, with the original Bandit Creation figures. Well, now, by the way, we're going into articulation. That's why I'm saying this. Uh, they'd have to curve the tail up because it'd have to fit in a box. Where, with the original Japanese figures, they were sold loose. In storage with a little tag on their arm. I, I think it was on their arm. Don't kill me if it's not. With a little tag on their arm. And their tail could be as long as it wanted to be. And with the 12 inch figures. Well at least mine. I don't know if your guys' glue seal is broken yet. But on mine. They found a neat way to compromise that. And that's a separate. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Posability points. I, I forgot what they're called. Uh, I kind of brain farted right there. Uh, points of articulation, that's what I was thinking of. There's uh, one, two, one, two, three. Three points of articulation on the tail. So you can move it like this. Here, let me sit down my camera so I can operate better. First point of articulation is right here. It's kind of stiff because it's the main uh, base where his tail would be. You got one right here, which is a lot more loose because it's not as important. Oh, my hand's getting in the way. And you got one right here. So you could actually position his tail to be a lot longer than it originally is. Not that much longer, but you know, as a kid, you didn't care if the spines light up. You just liked the long, you know, attack tail that you could do. But if you walk through the spines line up, his tail is kind of curved up, but it still looks pretty neat. Still is Godzilla. His arms can rotate, not 360 degrees, but they can rotate enough. Both arms can. His leg can uh, rotate like that. Both arms can. I don't know, for 360, I'm not going to try it because his legs look like he's ready to come off if I rotate it too much. His head can go 360 degrees. And that's about it for articulation. Uh, I would do a review on the Kiryu if I still had him. I had him as a kid. I had, the, I had him at the Kiryu, but I lost him. And then I got this one, which kind of is a bummer. I would love to have them both and, you know... Been able to have a battle as a kid with them, but it never happened. I got this too late. But I did get the Gagan, so I did get to have that battle, which actually happened in the movie. And I was pretty psyched about that. I love my 12-inch Gagan as well. But, yeah. He is really big. But uh, if you're going to get this for a small child, you, there's some things you want to watch out for. If he leaves it on the ground like this and you step on it, it's going to make Legos feel like... You're walking on soft carpet. I mean, this, these are already sharp enough. I mean, it hurts doing with this in my hand. Imagine stepping on that, on that. I don't want to curse. But, imagine stepping on it. It'd be pretty painful. Um, I don't even want to imagine that. I mean, cause one, you might accidentally break the vinyl. If you weigh enough. And two, ouch. I mean, these are sharp spines. Ah, I don't want to cut anymore. So, yeah, you want to make sure he puts it back in his toy chest or wherever he puts his toys before he's done playing with this thing because you don't want to live in around the house. Two, you want to watch, I mean, number two you want to watch out for is this is vinyl, obviously. His arms are really hard. His hands are really hard vinyl. Uh, dogs love to chew up vinyl. I know this from experience as a previous Godzilla toy owner. Was still still going on, but I've had previous figures that have been completely demolished. I have three Yorkshire Terriers, and they have loved to just troll me all my life by destroying my stuff. 
So, I've had previous Godzilla figures that were just eradicated by my dogs. So, if you have dogs, you might want to make sure you put this away before you're done with it. Because they will chew it up and ruin it. Luckily, I was able to keep this thing safe for my dogs and, the, and most of my figures, except for my 1964, which got his nose chewed off, but that's it. He, he got spared the real punishment. Um, I used to have the, the small figures that destroy... The, I forgot what it's called. I think it's the Rumble Pack. It's this pack of all the little monsters by the old Bandai Creations. And they were all demolished by my dogs. I was so mad. And yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for this figure. Sorry if I got a little off topic. I can't do that a lot. Um. Yeah, that was my review on the Bandai Creations 12 inch Final Wars Godzilla. Uh. Remember, if you want to see any of those figures reviews, you just request them and I'll do it. Uh, so yeah. Have a nice day. If you want to see uh, any other reviews, I have a lot on my channel. I also have some video game stuff on there, of weird stuff I found in video games. So on, so on. Uh, if, you're, if you're wondering about the whole Minecraft texture pack thing, yeah, I pretty much canceled that because how long the first video took and how needless and pointless it was because it wasn't really that good to be honest but if you really want me to continue doing it let me know and i i will do another video just let me know what texture pack if i don't have it i'll get it but if i already have it i will do a review on it if you request it but yeah that's it for this video halo mama out